Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Vinyl Talk with Tavis. And I'm Tavis. Well, it's been a long time since I've seen all of you. And it's also been a while since I've done a rambling video. I'm on my way to work this morning, and I was thinking about that wonderful Country Music Awards last night. I was watching and I tell you, I became very emotional when I saw Dolly Parton, Reba McIntyre and Carrie Underwood together. Our school this year is doing a winter program that's country and Western themed. And so to watch that show last night and to also know that I do have some country music made me feel really good. Although I don't have any Dolly Parton records, but I'm gonna change that. I don't have any Reba McIntyre records. I'm gonna change that. But due to some great BCLT, I do have a Carrie Underwood album right here. I think I showed it once before. Traffic is so slow this morning, I tell you. Carrie Underwood, Storyteller from 2015. It's a double LP set. Three sides are playable. One side is not. I'm gonna play this for the kids this morning. But you know, I came on here to really talk to you about my working with or singing for Reba McIntyre. Yep. In 1998, I was asked to perform at the Oklahoma Hall of Fame Awards. Reba McIntyre is from Oklahoma. And, you know, Carrie Underwood is from Muskogee, Oklahoma. And I'm from Oklahoma. I was born in Wichita, Kansas, but I lived in Spiro, Oklahoma for years until I went to college. And so when I moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma, I was teaching and my reputation was pretty good for singing at the time at that, in that area. And so a producer contacted me on my job and asked if I would sing for the Oklahoma Hall of Fame Awards. He said that he wanted me to sing an acapella version of the Star Spangled Banner. Now, I had just graduated college. You know, I was fresh and green and country and I said, yes, you know, I was, didn't have any fear at all. Well, yes, I did. <laughs> but um, I practiced and I knew it was gonna be in B flat and I have pretty good, perfect pitch. So I just started singing, practicing every day until the day of the show, but about one week, maybe a week and a half before the show actually started, or when the show was gonna take place, the producer called me again on the job because in 1998, there were no cell phones that I can recall, or I didn't have one. The producer called me and asked if I would sing a song with the band. So there was going to be a full orchestra band there and he said, we need you to take the place of Toby Keith. So Toby Keith was supposed to perform that night and something happened. It still hasn't been revealed to me exactly what happened, but there was some negative energy around his performance. I don't know, but anyway, I had to get my context together and I had to call uh, my band directors from the college. I. Uh, graduated from and I um, got some sheet music of the song The Woman's Got Soul so I got that music bought it back to the band and we started rehearsing like days before the show to be honored that night was Reba McIntyre do you all know the famous preacher his name I think is Reverend Schusler but he was over the Glass Cathedral, I believe it's in California. 
but I think he's from Oklahoma too. But just a lot of Oklahomans were given awards. And I remember sitting in the dressing room and that famous preacher came to me and he shook my hand. He was very tall and elegant and he said, nice to see you. I'm glad you're here. What are you performing? And I told him I was singing the Star Spangled Banner and well, I hope you do well. God bless you. He was very pompous acting, you know. I, I loved him dearly. But Reba McIntyre, she was a whole different, she had her own paparazzi, not paparazzi, she had her own crew with her. And she came in in a separate door. Now this was 1998, okay? She had her own posse. And my parents were sitting out in the audience and it was packed and it was going to be aired live. I think it was live. So Reba McIntyre, my mom told me later after the show, she said, Reba McIntyre was sitting behind us. I said, what? She said, yeah. And when you came out and you sang the Star Spangled Banner, Reba McIntyre touched my back because we were talking about you. Like my son's gonna be singing. You know, I hope he sounds good and all this. I was probably 20, I think I was 25 at the time, 26. 25. Yeah, I wasn't going to turn 26 until that summer. So she touches my mama's shoulder and my mom turns around like, who was this touching my shoulder tonight? <laughs> and she said it was Reba McIntyre. She didn't know Reba McIntyre was behind her. And Reba said, is that your boy? And mama said, yeah. She said, he's going places. And then she sat back and mom said, thank you. And then after the show was over and mom told me that great story, we were walking to our car, going through these long halls where the um, uh, award ceremony was held, getting to our car and turning the corner was Reba McIntyre and her posse, uh, about nine or 10 people with her. And I didn't have any fear. I said, Reba, and she looked at me. She said, oh, you're the guy that sung, yeah. I said, Reba, and now back then we didn't have cell phones. I had my little um, instant camera. I said, Reba, would you take a picture with me and my family? And so someone had to take the picture. So daddy said, no, you just take it with her by yourself. <laughs> so <laughs> he, he pushes me to Reba and me and Reba kind of embrace a little bit. And my dad pops a whole bunch of pictures. And then uh, he, you know, he gives the camera to me and me and Reba hug and kiss and she hugs my mom and dad. And then she says goodbye. And that's my story with Reba. She was so gracious. Mama said her, she was so kind in the back. She was kind of laughing and giggling throughout the whole show. There was some funny things that happened, but wow. It was good to see Reba. Reba is 64 years old. At this time of me recording this, this is December, no, November the 14th, 2019. Well, everybody, that's all I wanted to share with you. I was just so happy to see Dolly and Reba and Carrie Underwood together. And um, wow, Reba McIntyre is pretty. So is Carrie Underwood. Dolly still looks good too. Hey, everybody, it's good to see you again. And as always, with music and with the sunshine in my eyes, be inspired and stay inspired.